great peace have they which love the law and nothing shall offend them Trust in you and stay in my mind upon your living word. I trust in you and stay in my mind upon your living word. And Jesus, your peace you give, not as the world gives. shall offend them at all. I trust in you and stay in my mind upon your living word. I trust in you and stay in my mind upon your living word. And Jesus, your peace Nothing and no one can take away my peace. Nothing and no one can take away my Trust in you and stay in my mind upon your living word. I trust in you and stay in my mind upon your living word. And Jesus, your peace you give, not as the world gives. As the world gives Well, I remember it like it was yesterday, September 11, 2001. I was at home. It was my day off. I was alone. And I called into our church to talk to someone about a matter. The secretary that picked up the phone was the first to tell me that an airplane had flown into Tower 1 of the Twin Towers in New York City. And I was in complete disbelief that anything that horrific could really happen. 
And the thing I remember the most about it, when I heard and turned on the TV and saw the carnage beginning because it got worse and worse, I remember feeling this oppression, this darkness, this invasion, not only over America, but over the world, reaching into the heart of this young man, a brand new Christian in Ontario, Canada. I felt it, it was tangible, dark, evil, that the Bible spoke about, but I had never really stopped to consider how evil things could get. It's 2022 now, folks, and things are much, much worse. And we're being attacked from every direction. The nations are being attacked. Christians are being attacked. And our peace, the precious peace that Jesus died on the cross to give us, is being stolen from us. So we must be diligent in these days to stay connected to the author and finisher of our faith. We must be diligent in staying in his word and letting it wash our minds day by day. We must stay in prayer, intimate fellowship with Jesus. You see, his peace is conditional upon our connection to him, the one who gives us peace, not as the world gives. I hope this encourages you today. God bless.